Develop an expression for the volume expansivity beta, given by the definition here, for a true ideal gas. Okay, so the ideal gas is PV is equal to RT, or V is equal to RT over P. And it looks like I need to differentiate V with respect to T holding pressure constant. When we do that, we get R over P. So let's substitute in. So this first term is 1 over V, which is RT over P, times the second term, which is R over P. The R's cancel, the P's cancel, and we're left with a very simple relationship that beta is equal to 1 over T. If somebody says calculate the volume expansivity for air, which it behaves often as an ideal gas, at 20 degrees C, some students will put beta is equal to 1 over 20 or 0.05, and they'll be wrong. Why would they be wrong? I need absolute temperature scale. Why do we need absolute temperature scale? Because we started with this equation, and what is the T in that equation? has to be in Kelvin, absolute temperature scale. So if they said 20 degrees C, it's 1 over 293 Kelvin. Notice the units on this are inverse Kelvin. That's the units of beta, inverse Kelvin. Now, once you've done it for an ideal gas, you can now do it for a gas obeying this equation, which is P times V minus B equal to RT. So that coefficient B could change if it's a, this ideal gas or that ideal gas, oxygen or nitrogen. Let's do the same thing, calculate beta analytically for this gas obeying this equation of state. Well, rearrange it such that you get uh, V is equal to B plus RT over P. And then now we get the partial of V with respect to T holding pressure constant. And B is a constant, so that doesn't come into play. And we're left with R over P. In this case, uh, beta is equal to 1 over V, 1 over B plus RT over P times R over P. And you could simplify it a little bit, but it's really not going to simplify much. It's going to be B, P plus RT something like that.